three point editing. And basically what it is, is say we've got some video and uh, we've got two different shots and we decide we want to add something else. Maybe we decide we want to put some of the courthouse that represents the courthouse on top of the ice cream cone, you know, in the video. We can bring it up in our finder and we can just hit play, maybe hit an I for in right there and then maybe decide that we're going to hit an out, an O for out over here. And then we've got our clip selected. Now, down here in our timeline, all we do is we take our, um, our finder, our cursor, and we place it where we want the video to go. Now, the video is already picked right up here. And then we can go down to this little thing. It, it's like got like a little arrow and a kind of like a little folder. It says overwrite on it. And if we hit overwrite, boom, the new um, video will play over, you know, what, however long we want that duration of that clip. So now we've got that clip in there. Um, of course, that clip would then need to be rendered. And um, we can use the same formula, an I here and do an O on the other side. And then we can go up to our sequence editor and render, render into out. And now the video will play perfectly nicely. So that's how you would do a three point edit. Very simple, you find the video you want to place over the other video. You go up to the timeline, you select wherever the video is with an in, of course, we wouldn't use that because that was wiggly, but then we'd hit an out. And then when we were ready, we would take and we would hit the overwrite button to pop the video in. So very simple. You find it in your box over on the side, play it, hit your in, your out, and then you can use your overwrite button to insert it. But it will only insert wherever your, your little cursor line thing is. So that's the first trick. So say that we've got this video in here and we do have that little um, mo motion, that movement that we don't want. We can go up to the slip tool, hit the slip tool, and then inside the highlighted clip, we can move it forward or backward. It's the duration of the clip, so we can just adjust it um, enough so that when we play it, the... Um, the little movement won't be there anymore. So it doesn't change the duration of the clip, but it does, you can slide the video back and forth to find, um, you know, maybe a little bit better of a shot. The other way you can do that um, will be you can always pull your video out this way or pull it out that way, or you can um, use your, your razor to clip and find things, but it's a little bit messier and and the slip tool just makes things a little bit easier. That way we don't have to um, worry so much. We can just um, go in, highlight it, adjust the video, slide it back and forth. And um, then of course, don't forget that when you're finished, you need to hit your in and your out points with an I and an O. And the O, oh, by the way, when you do an in and out point, you can hit the O or the I in any order as long as you hit both of them. Go up to your sequence editor, do your in and your out, and then it will play nicely for you.